Newsroom. This is an OSU update with John Helsley. I'm Jenny Carlson. Well, John, the brackets are out and the Cowboys are in a nine seed in the West uh, uh, playing on Friday night. Uh, what, are, what are your thoughts and what were their thoughts as they found out their fate playing Oregon, a team that they played just two years ago in the NCAA tournament? You know, I think there was a lot of relief with the Cowboys. You know, Travis Ford kind of set them up, kept telling them it was, they weren't going to get in the tournament. I think he was <laughs> messing with them a little bit. Um, so I think there was some relief. And, you know, three-fourths of the bracket was announced before their name came up, three long commercial breaks. And a lot of the guys talked, you know, sitting around uh, was really a little bit difficult. But once their name was called, I know they were happy to be in the tournament. It's a team they somewhat – uh, know about in Oregon. They played those guys two years ago. And so I think they feel pretty good right now. Well, and this Oregon matchup, it's, it's interesting that they rematch the, these two teams. A little bit different scenario because the Cowboys, Oregon was really underrated two years ago, uh, as it turns out, when they played the Cowboys. But now an 8-9 matchup. And Oregon's largely a different team, though. Oklahoma State will have some of the same faces out there this time around. Yeah, the Cowboys will remember this matchup well. Mm -hmm. uh, Michael Cobbins, LeBron Nash, Phil Forte all played on that team that lost to Oregon two years ago. Anthony Hickey played against them in the NIT a year ago when he was at LSU. Mm -hmm. And so there's some familiarity there. There's two players on the Oregon team uh, that were on the floor uh, in that game, but guys who weren't significant. Yeah, what's this matchup look like for the Cowboys? I think it's a favorable matchup, not a big team that's going to gonna beat, up, uh, beat them up on the boards. Uh, very much a guard-oriented team, which is the same thing that, uh, that Oklahoma State is. You know, their forwards are 6'6", so guys that they'll, I think, match up well with, with LeBron Nash and Cobbins and, of course, the three guards. Let's talk a little bit about down the road. Obviously, you can't assume anything with an 8-9 matchup, especially when you're the 9. But when that game, and it's likely Wisconsin stands in the Cowboys' way. And interesting in Omaha, too, because I have to think there's going to be a lot of Wisconsin fans there. You would think so. You would think Wisconsin would have a lot of fans there. It's a very good team. Uh, if, if anybody's seen Wisconsin play, very strong, uh, good inside and outside. It would be a very difficult matchup for OSU. You know, I mentioned Wisconsin fans. I don't think they're going to be the only fans there, are they? No, it's, uh, <laughs> it's set up really well for Omaha. It's about the best uh, draw they could have imagined. Kansas is there. Wichita State is there. Those are all uh, easy drives. Like you said, Wisconsin's going to bring some fans. There. They've got quite a uh, tradition that they've built recently. It's going to be full of folks. Yeah, well, good environment to have for NCAA games, that's for sure. Thanks, John. Be sure to stay with the best coverage team anywhere at newsok.com and every day in the Oklahoma.